Hey guys, what's going on? It's JK here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. But guys, we start today on a sad note as we are getting rid of a legend. Um, Rodrigo, I bought him for 32k, selling him for about, what, almost 2,000 coins. Absolute stonk stare, lads. We did it with Kai Habits last, last year. Um, and we've done it with uh, Rodrigo, but on a bigger scale this year. Yeah. <laughs> um... But yeah, now we're coming to Friday. Right now, guys, is uh, um, today is um, Sunday. All they've released is a milestone for some championship players. Sinclair looked decent, so does King. But I can't be asked, so no, not doing them. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is um, everything that got released here. These are the level 15 players. So Tello looks insane. Um, just a bit hard to link. He looks absolutely mental, though. I do. Looks insane as Gen. Pretty easy to link, though, with his nation. Well, hard to link with his nation, but easy with the league. And then, don't know who that, what that guy's name is. But he is a good, he's an alright card. Not as good as the other two. And he's harder to link. So, no, don't get that one. Get one of the other two. And, uh, level 30. Um, you have a choice between Iago Aspas, who looks okay, but not amazing. Romagnoli, who looks okay, but not amazing. And uh, Kaito, who looks okay, but not amazing. Um, and in my opinion, the level 15 players are better than the level 30 players. Other than Aspas, probably better than that Shiwu, than that Korean guy. And other than that, they didn't release any new objectives. They didn't release any new SBCs other than, well, what you're about to see. And other than that, it was a pretty boring content drop. Um, other than the new plays in the season, obviously, which was really sick, like... Good job, EA. Yeah. Those are some sick hearts. Uh, but yeah. Now, SBCs. First thing I see icons Louis Figo, Edwin van der Sar, and Javier Zanetti. So I favourite all the SBCs, and of course, I'll go take a look at them. They come in at 300, 800, no, 300, 900, and uh, 600k. Um, and other than that, there was nothing else released. So again, the icons aren't worth it. Just buy them off the market. You may as well. And other than that, this is all we got from the content, basically. We didn't get much. We didn't get any new leagues. We didn't get a new icon. Well, we got new icons, but... You know, they weren't that good. But yeah, Figo, you need an 89 rated squad, an 88 rated squad, an 87 rated squad, an 86 rated squad, an 82 rated squad, an 86 rated squad, um, an 81 rated squad, uh, a silver squad and a bronze squad. Shocking. That is a rip-off. For Edwin van der Sart, you need a 86, 85, 84, 82, silver and bronze, so not bad, and from, um, for Zanetti, you need an 86, an 86, an 85, an 84, an 82, I'm gonna guess, 84, and no, an 80 rated squad, uh, a silver squad and a bronze squad, but you only have 30 days to grind them, which is just rip off, but yeah, so for the Zanetti's loan card, which you don't remember what you need for Zanetti's loan, for Zanetti's loan, you need two rares, a Serie A player, six golds. And you may as well do the loans because the amount of time you use it, you go in friendlies. I'm thinking about doing a series on round friendlies where I can use like one icon, no, two icons, um, three loan items, and then I have to use players around it. And then I can just do like a friendlies to the glory. I unlock friendlies cards. But I can also play rivals and stuff just to get them bit the bare minimum. Probably going to take coins this week because there's no new promo in packs. So, just probably going to take coins and um, buy my new player for my new team. Uh, which can be quite fun. But I don't play enough to make enough coins, guys. My team is not good uh, anymore. It's behind the power curve. But, yeah. Other than that, there wasn't anything new. Like, I'm probably going to complete the loans for the icons. But I'm not going to complete the actual icons. I'm, unless I pack, like, two R9 Ronaldos, I won't complete an icon. Actually, maybe if I packed four R9s in a pack, I would maybe do it. But it's, it's, it's really debatable. 
really debatable because you may as well just buy a full team of icons that are tradable. But yeah, now we move on to the actual players themselves. So firstly, we have Tello. No, actually, we have Aspas. With a Hunter, he has really good shooting, really good pace, decent passing, dribbling. The well, the balance is just not great. It's okay. And then the agility is really good. The physicals are all right. And the defending it just doesn't matter. In my opinion, out of the level 30 cards, this one's probably the best unless you like Nabi Kaiser because this Romagnoli is just not good. He has 82 physical, um, 97 defending with a shadow, 84 pace with a shadow, but that's still not good enough. You may as well just get Varane. Like Varane, like even that that I do card, the centre back from the league, he has better physicals, similar defending, uh, better pace, so he's a better player. And then we have Nabi Kaita, who whether you could give him any chem start really. His shooting's average, pace is average, defending average, physical average, dribbling's insane, and his passing's just average as well. But it's just a really average card. Like, it's like that Genie Van Yaldum card. He doesn't have a, a stat above 80 other than his dribbling, and the rest of his card uh, stats are 70. Uh, so whatever you need, you uh, whatever you want on him, you use him for, you're going to put that on. But Zhang Wu Yong, um, with a dead eye, he has really good shooting, passing, dribbling, pace, um, really good physicals as well, decent defending for a um, midfielder, but it's hard to link him. He's probably the hardest one to link. I do with a shadow. He has 90 physical, 89, almost 90 defending, 92 pace. Holy shit. Like, his passing is shocking. His dribbling is actually really decent. His agility and balance is really decent. His actual dribbling is like, shocking and then passing, shooting shocking. But as a defender, he's really good. But yeah, that Jing Wu Ku guard looks like a good super sub, but don't do him. Tello with a shadow, because I don't know what to give him. With a shadow, he has 98 pace. 90, no, 83 defending, 86 physical, 85 dribbling, 70 shooting, 80 passing, and it's absolutely insane. But I will go take a deeper look at these cards later and see what I want. But yeah, this is the team that we went into our games using. Lorente, Paul, to uh, Dembele. I want to move Valverde up front. Um, I want to get Beckham in, and I want to put De Jong in Valverde's place. And other than that, that's the team done. Oh yeah, and also I want that I do card. I'll put Diego Carson on the left, and I do that. And then also, I want to get Jesus Nervas, but he's extinct right now, pretty much. But yeah, this Eugenio uh, Das is actually not too bad. He's he's got better physicals than Jesus Nervas, which is weird. But yeah, into the gameplay. Yeah, I know half an episode of gameplay, but winning the ball high up here, playing it in town to Fatty, good run, finish. No, not quite, but we get the ball back, and it and with after a bit of delay, we end up scoring with. Porto, his first goal and only goal for the club, and uh, yeah, moving on to a, another clip now, coming on the attack after conceding, Usman Dembele, and by the way guys, one of the reasons why I don't do that well, is because I try to do every single skill I know, and it messes me up, so I've got a bank of, I think, five or six skills, as well as the agile, I think I've got five skills, and then I've got agile dribble, and um, Bridge dribble, but what a finish that is, I just baited him out. But yeah, agile dribble and bridge dribble, those are the two that I've got. Um, as the other two, and then I've just got uh, five still skill moves. I don't think I have heel to heel on there. I don't have ball roll flick on there. But yeah, wh why why use a heel to heel when you can just uh, ball roll? Because the heel to heel, what does it do? do? Give you an extra bit of pace? The agile dribble does that, and it beats a man. But yeah, a lovely finish from his man there. And we've won it up high again. And now Tao's got it. Doing a bit of shimmy shammy into Taliska. Nice touch. Good hold up play. And he's finished it. And now we're back on the attack. Well, we've won the ball after it. It looks like some sort of crossing situation. Might have been a corner. And we're looking to counter here. Playing it into Fatty, who's played it to Dembele. Sees Atal with a load of space. Atal is driving in. Still got the ball. Atal, first goal for the club for Yusef Atal. Well done there, mate. What a finish that is. Um... And, um, yeah, Dest winning it, sending his player to the shop, like, actually, uh, to the sh theoretical shop. See you later, mate. And now we're back on the attack again. And Fatty's in. His defender can't keep up. And it is a wonderful finish from Ansu. That's what he brings into your team. I'm so glad I've done this card. Even though he's fallen behind now and he's stopped scoring so many goals, I don't care. He's still a really good card. And now Fatty holding up the ball well, playing in Porto. He's played in Valverde. Valverde, fake shot inside, playing it to Porto. That's not where I wanted it. But Dembele, block, shot blocked, still gets it. Lucky, but he scored. Nice finish. And we're back on the attack again. 
I, def- I think I think quite a lot of these were from just the same game. But yeah, Fatty making space, playing in Dembele, easy finish for Ousmane because that's just what he does. He gets in, he uses his skills in his weak foot, and he bangs goals. And with the worm, my new celebration. I love the worm. It's actually a really good celebration. I don't know if it's actually worth anything, but I might start selling my celebrations um, other than the one I'm using. But yeah, coming on the attack now, Porto, cutting inside with a fake shot. I also don't have the Ronaldo chop on there, but that one's pretty useless. Like, you may as well just fake shot. But yeah, Valverde's intercepted it. Load of space to run into. Holding off the man. Felipe Anderson going around the outside. Fake shot stop. Lacaqueta cutting in. Playing it across. Fatty to Dembele. I was trying to shoot with Fatty, but it ended up registering a pass. So it just, when I when it eventually shot, he didn't get any power behind it and he missed. But yeah, back on the attack again. Usman playing it to the Fatty. Double wide pass into Usman. Ball roll. See you later, mate. What a finish. And the game actually ended. I think it was 4-4. Um, uh, Dembele with a hat-trick. Fatty with a goal. And then Fatty got two assists. Dembele got one. And Porto got an assist as well. So, yeah. And then um, that was it. We won 4-3. So, not a bad game. Not a bad result. I haven't been winning a lot of games recently, guys. And I'm now actually in Division 4. And my record is shocking. I don't care about my record anymore. Like, my record's my record. I play... I would rather play friendlies, to be honest. Because you can actually win games in friendlies if you're using your team. But, yeah. But, yeah. He's got 14-41 skill rating. Mine is 14-22. It's really shocking. And I think I'm back down there now. Oh, no, actually, I think I'm just steadily there. But, yeah, I think I've got well enough points for my rank... Um, and I do spend just a lot of time just looking at it. But yeah, I think I've got enough points. But I am going to play tomorrow. I've got um, some objectives to do to try to get to I do as quick as possible. But if I can get to him by the 15th of December, it's fine. Alright then guys, so back in the menus, and uh, last episode guys, I changed a load of things up, so basically I changed my um, my stadium up and all that, and I'm thinking that maybe we can sell some of our celebrations, because some of them are worth a lot, but yeah, we've unlocked a coin boost, and I think we're at level 3 right now, but I don't think we got anything from the rare player pack, and now we're going to take a deeper look into these cards, so 3 star, 3 star, um, absolutely insane stats. His vision isn't great, but his dribbling's really good. Other than his balance, like maybe an artist would be good for this card. This card as well is absolutely actually really good. Four star, four star, medium, medium. Um, really nice physicals. Dribbling is really good. Passing's really good. Shooting's decent. So yeah, a dead eye. And if you can link him in with a Wang Hee Chan, then that's decent. And then I do the one that I might get. Only two star, two star, and shocking passing, shocking um, dribbling stat. Shocking shooting, but insane physicals, defending and pace. That's the card that I want to go alongside Diego Carlos. And then the level 30 cards, nothing special. Don't even need to look at them other than Aspas. But yeah, those are the objectives that I need to get. I finesse in a win. So I might just play a bit of squad battles for that. Um, but I do have pre-order packs tomorrow, guys. Hopefully we can get something okay out of them. I don't know if I'm going to record them. I'll screenshot if I get anything, but I'm not even going to record. I'm that doubtful. But yeah. We're opening a pack, and Lincoln City is our new background Tifo. You may have heard while I was commentating last video, guys, but absolutely banging. Um, and we got Fabianski, which isn't a bad card to get. So, yeah, right now, guys, I'm about to go over, well, real life, after I finished editing this video. I'm going to go on to the companion app. I'm going to sell some celebrations. Um, I'm then going to go and complete the loan icons. i uh, probably going to screenshot what I submit. But yeah, guys, now time for player stats. Uh, and it's actually not great. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, starting with Neto. 10 games, nothing. 4 games, nothing. 10 games, nothing. Uh, 4 games, nothing. Come on. Tellez, 4 games, nothing. Valverde, 8 games, nothing. 50 games, 50 goals, 24 assists for Fatty, which is really good. He did have 18, 36 and like 18 at one point. But yeah, Felipe Anderson, 9-2 and 0 oh, from the right wings. Not bad. He's a very good player. I actually really like him. I Yeah, he's just really good. But yeah, four games, one goal, one assist. And then 19 games, 13 goals and seven assists. 
with a lot of rage crits in the middle of that as well. It's not bad, it's upper echelon. But yeah, guys, that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Other than that, my I don't like Aguero, that's why he came out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. I'm about to go com complete some lone icons and sell some stuff. But yeah, I'll see you all next time.